Welcome back everybody. Today, a little different than what we're used to. This was a job that we cut. We cut this, this piece of this job oh, this spring. And there's regrowth all over out there already. Them's all trees. So, but we're cutting a piece back in beyond the hill a ways. Anyways, what we wanted to talk about was a dozer. So, this is the D6K2LGP. Got it dropped off. Cat dropped it off for us to try out. Now, our problem is, is when we need a dozer, we have to have a dozer. And that's where the trick comes in. We have the D6 at the shop, the high track down there. That works great. But now that we're running two crews, when we need the dozer on a certain job, we have to have it. Sometimes we can't move it. Frost loss come into effect. You can't move it during frost loss. And let's take the blade off. Uh, it just gets tricky. So we really need another dozer. Talk to the cat salesman this summer about possibly bringing one up here because the dealership's not too far from this job. It's around the corner from where our salesman's at. So they brought up a dozer. Our situation is we don't use dozers a whole lot. Like I said, when you need it, you have to have it. The problem is when you're on two crews and they both need it, then you have a real problem. Because if you get a chipper stuck, if you get a truck stuck and you can't get it out with the skitters, you have to have the dozer. And if you only got one and you're on two jobs, like we had a situation this spring, it gets really tricky. Guys get really frustrated. Everyone gets really mad. And you just then you're, you're just fighting a losing battle. So um, they make different styles of D6s. This is the one they brought out. Um, as you can tell, it's got a nice GoPro mount here. That's what that's for. Um, a six-way blade. Our other blade on our D6 doesn't have quite the six-way blade that this does. Um, it's just a little bit different ball game. Great for pushing out trucks. Road building, it'll great, build great roads, but it's kind of hard to crown stuff sometimes. And it's got the big old diggers in the corner that this don't have. Um, and the one thing that when we do, if we, it, depending on what happens, is we're gonna want a winch. Um, chippers and stuff, everything that we do, um, a winch would be, a winch would be just most excellent on one of these. As long as it's not like the ones on the skitters. Um, yeah, I'm sure it wouldn't be. It would be made for pulling. So, yeah, let's get in this thing. Let's, should we go for a ride? Should we go for a ride? I found the key. I found the hidden key. I don't know how long this glass will last in here. Building roads. But we'll find out. Just a beeping at me already. I know there's a chance of snow showers. Okay, here we are. Oh. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. It'll be fun. It'll be fun, but first we're gonna get our heat on. Woo. Figure out the heat first and go from there. in reverse. We got her in neutral now. You know, we'll let her warm up and then uh, where can we put a GoPro? Where can we put camera? Camera. Oh, yeah, see the, this is steel here. I think our best bet might be, oh it'd be nice if they had a little flat spot of steel right here. You can just get a nice little shot. We have to throw it on the blade because uh, yeah, it's hard to get good visuals in these things, you know, for the camera. They don't send these up. This isn't Chipper Guy uh, YouTube approved, but just because you can get where to set cameras at, you know. So we'll let her warm up. We'll put a GoPro out on there, see how that looks. But uh, it's going to take me a minute to get used to it. But we just have a little rough spot in the road up here, and we'll go. Uh, Pack that down and see if we can get some water to drain out of the road. That way you don't have to drive through a bunch of water to get here. So 
now that she's freezing. A chance of snow again today, right up here in the snow belt hills. So, here we go. Let's go for a little ride.
Well, there you have it. A little bit of dozer work. Not doing nothing crazy. Fixing up the trail. Opening it up. Letting the frost get down in there. It's cold. Trucks are here. New dozer. I mean, yeah, it's 10 times, 100 times better than the other one. We're talking 25 year difference. You know what I mean? Enclosed cab with heat. I didn't even try the radio out. I was too busy working. But no, the controls are, the steering is really touchy. Which I'm sure that's how they all are now. But we're, we're talking old school. The old one, you got to really hammer on her. But this one's a total different ball game. Quiet in here. Heat, oh, it's really nice to run compared to the other one. There's no doubt about that. But anyways, yeah, it was a, it's a nice machine. Like, I don't know what it's like compared to a John Deere or something like that or anything else because we're dealing with cats. So it is what it is. There's old Jimmy. I was just cleaning up the road for you, James. But, um, yeah, I mean, I can't compare it to anything else, but it's a slick unit, I'll tell you that much, compared to what our other one is. So that'll be the next feud, is what crew gets this one and what crew gets the other one. <laughs> but this will probably go on the majority of the work deals. Uh, road building, this will be great. Stumping, uh, the other one might do a little bit better on still, because it's built for it. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed a little dozer work and uh, just keep rolling.